morning friends diana here from garden love i wanted to do a quick video on my sugar canes if you're new to this channel take this opportunity to subscribe because we're going to be having so many more new videos like this so many updates on all my trees that i transported over a hundred trees from the suburbs to a homestead so i'm excited to be showing you guys what's going on with my trees what i'm going to be doing with them and where they're going to be going in my new um homestead but i do want to show you guys give you guys an update with my sugar canes that i was growing in a container lead farmer 73 actually just did a video on sugar canes his were amazing i was very impressed with how well he grew them mine aren't doing the best for two reasons one i didn't water them as often as i should and two with the move it, it gave it a shock of a uh, microclimate so there for that reason they're not as big as they should so hopefully they grow a little bit before um, it gets too cold and also the grown family network we're also talking about sugar canes so there's a lot of talk about sugar canes if you are not familiar with them this is what they look like they're actually um they actually look a little bit like a corn stalk but they're not and these were grown from a cutting if you guys haven't seen them seen that video i'm going to attach it here so um right above so you guys can see you can see that it has grown a form but not large enough for me to actually harvest this sugar cane i'm hoping to come outside and water them a little bit more often i put it i put here i put it i moved it here because it gets a little bit more sun it was actually back there and it wasn't getting sun at all so that's where i'm at guys it's a very quick update letting you guys know what's going on with my sugar canes they didn't grow as much as i wish they would have but it's completely understandable considering that we moved just a few weeks ago there was a lot going on they didn't get water as often as they should have and they weren't in a spot where there was tons of sun as you can see here's many of some of many trees that we moved <laughs> Uh, on my move I will be putting that video together so you guys can see how many fruit trees we moved it was so many it's just crazy 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 but um just a quick update guys if you guys have space I highly suggest you guys grow some I still have some cuttings right here I left them in water and they're not doing so well either because they're not getting sun which reminds me I should just move them over here with their sun that way even though right there they'll get some sun right there that way maybe i can put those in the ground or in containers to grow if not i guess i'll just have to get some new cuttings from someone uh in the upcoming spring but there's the update guys they're still here they haven't died but they also haven't been growing as much as i wish they they had and that is because of the reasons that i mentioned earlier so next year will be completely different we are here in the new homestead and i am going to be creating a garden to grow whatever my little heart desires <laughs> and experiment and try new things well guys i really hope that you guys enjoy this little short video that you guys are inspired to grow something even if you don't know if it'll make it in your microclimate even if you've never tried it before it's worth giving it a try most of the time i do say go to the store and try the fruit before you try it but honestly if you don't try it from a homegrown tree you're really not going to know if you truly truly like it or not because the taste is going to be different a lot of the times the fruit that are in the stores have been there have been either been shipped from out of country or have been shipped from out of state they um, harvest them before they're even ripe they're sitting in a freezer somewhere and then they're shipped for weeks days and weeks maybe even months and by the time they hit the store i mean they've just been through everything and the taste is just not there the fruit tastes amazing when it's ripe when it's been basically cooking under the sun all the juices come out and it's just the best i hope you guys are inspired to grow something thank you guys for being here i hope to see you guys in the next one and i hope you guys have a blessed day Bye bye